Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Picasso, spelt like that, is a famous rapper. He's seen here dressed up as Where's Waldo, and he's doing the vow of silence. Here's an album cover. It's a little hard to see, but can you see it? Can you see famous rapper Picasso doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there? We basically see this pose every day. This is real and it means something. It's not something to just look over or call a conspiracy theory. The sign symbols and agendas I show on this channel are antichrist. They are not for Christ, therefore they are against Christ. Christ, And it's, it's very clear to see when you see this. It's also the pride of humanity to do these things and pose with this. The Uttara Bodhi Mudra may be a funny sounding name. It's a hand gesture. This one is supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is not. It's the false light of Lucifer, the light bearer. We know him as Satan, the father of lies, the enemy of God and everyone. So Picasso the rapper is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, and it's very prideful to do this pose. This is the most prideful pose there is. These are the last days, and this is what the last days looks like. Surprise! The world we've been living in is sold out to the max. I follow our brother Xavier on his Pinterest, and he posts a lot of good stuff. I, I do borrow from him, and, you know, we're, we're doing this together, right, brothers and sisters? Like, you know, I make videos every day, people research, and there's, there's a few people I follow on Pinterest that do find photos, and I'm grateful for them. In this little cartoon here, the Christian holding his Bible says, We tried to warn you, but you said, Don't judge me. And he's stepping into hell. He's going to step into hell. That passage get ta gets taken out of context when people say, Don't judge me. No one can judge me. Only God can judge me. Thou shall not judge, right? But it, it talks about not judging hypocritically. It talks about taking the moat out of your eye, the beam out of your eye, the plank out of your eye. No one is perfect in this world. The only perfect person was Jesus Christ when he was here. Fully man, fully God, lived a perfect sinless life, died on the cross, shed his precious blood, was buried then resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures. This is for salvation, forgiveness of sins, to go to heaven, to take part in the promises of God, which are great. People want salvation. I, I want to tell them now, and this I can relate to this. I'm sure most of us can. People don't want to hear about the Bible. People don't want to hear about Jesus Christ. People don't want to hear about how he died on the cross. And what does that mean? Why did he do that? He died so we can live. We're all sinners. We all fall way short of God. We're, we, we, Christians, we were once on our way to hell, but we found the meaning of life. We have found salvation, redemption. The only way possible to be, be forgiven of sins is to have faith in Jesus Christ. The world wants to say a, a whole bunch of stuff. They want to ignore what's going on in this channel. They want to ignore the biblical world. They don't see it. And right, don't judge me. We're pointing things out, right? We're all sinners. But some people want to stay in their sin. They think it's okay, and it's not. When you first realize these things, that the world is biblical and have faith in Jesus, it may be pretty hard at first to get out of your old habits and old ways. But the Bible tells us God will make us a new creation in Christ. And this is true. It doesn't mean we're perfect. Some people might argue that. I've had a couple people say, once you find Jesus, you don't sin anymore. And that's not true. The Bible doesn't say that's true. And I, I live a life where, you know, I get angry. I look with lust. Like, these things happen to me. I'm not proud of them. I, I, don't, I don't get a pride flag and wave it around and go, look at me, I'm a sinner, this is great. No, I feel shame and I feel like I go to God in prayer, like honestly, just being sorry for my sins. I don't like sinning. I don't like sin. I don't like liars. I don't like and I hate the things that God hates. But God is love. God is love. But that doesn't mean we can just do whatever we want. God is love, and he, he wants to direct us. He has commands that we should follow. It benefits us as human beings. Brothers and sisters and everyone else, I just thought I'd end with this little cartoon that Xavier saved because this is what it's like. Like, my old friends from school that I love and care for, 
I, I don't talk to them or see them at all. They think I'm a crazy person. They, they think, I don't know what they think, to be honest, but, you know, I, it hurts sometimes because, you know, when my mom passed away in 2017, no one really was like, hey, how you doing? Are you okay about these things? Like, I never got any, like, comfort from old friends. And that's okay because I have Jesus and my family, right? My, I love my family so much. I pray my mom is safe with the Lord. We talked about Jesus before she passed away. She said the salvation prayer. I know that might not be biblical, but it's the point of her, me getting her to think that. I even said to her, I looked her straight in the eyes, and I'm like, I know a lot of this sounds crazy, and you might think I'm a crazy person right now going through some things, but I need you to have faith in Jesus Christ. He is God. Having faith in his finished work on the cross is for salvation, and I want you to be saved, Mom. And she said the prayer, and she says she prays to God, so only God knows. I just, I think about it a lot. Hey, brothers and sisters, I think a lot of us who have lost a parent or a loved one or a child can be just so hard. But God has things in control. God has his plan. It'll work out. I just have faith in Jesus Christ because I know that he's real, 100%. I've never been more sure about anything in my life. It is so clear to see that creation is biblical, the world it is biblical, and that Jesus Christ is Lord, God, and Savior. God bless you, everyone.